Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Julia Ha, and behind me are several examples of my oil paintings. And in fact, all of these paintings behind me are currently for sale. I just wanted to give a little introduction of myself in case you weren't aware or in case you were new here. I've pretty much been drawing or painting from a very young age. I had a makeshift art studio in my parents' basement. And I grew up in a very rural environment. My favorite pastimes at that time were taking care of cats, climbing trees, and running around in hideous neon soccer shorts. I was such a dork, and in many ways I still am. And growing up, I was always noticed for my artistic abilities. I remember winning Best in Show in eighth grade, and then I would later go on to win Best in Show at my university. And People were always just kind of calling on me to do little things, little artistic things. And fast forward to college, I decided to follow my sister's footsteps and go to college here in Kalamazoo, Michigan, which is where I'm based for the next year. So while Western Michigan University isn't really known for the art program, the art program was actually excellent. When I was a photography major, I had this wild white-haired Italian professor. His name was Lou Rizzolo. And after class, he was giving me a private critique, looking at my drawings, and he was like, you must paint. And I knew he was right. I just knew it because I, I was a fashion major and then I was a photography major. Literally that week, I changed my major from photography to painting and that was in 2004. At that time, the painters were all tucked into this building called East Hall and it's perched on top of a hill, very historic old building. And I had the most badass studio. It was overlooking the entire city of Kalamazoo. So you could just look out just look at all the twinkling lights and just, you know, it was such a cool feeling. After I graduated, I spent a couple years here in Kalamazoo and then I moved to Chicago in 2008 where I started working for a well-known artist named Tony Fitzpatrick. And then I started working for another artist named Wesley Kimmler and a film director, Steve Conrad, and it just kind of tumbled and it was really, really cool because, because I grew up in such a rural environment, I never knew what fame was. I never knew what it meant to be a working, living artist. So that was the most invaluable education I had ever received. I just remember working for Tony, seeing the hours that he put in and realizing how much time, perseverance, and dedication that it would take to actually make a living being an artist. I ended up having my first museum show with Illinois State Museum and I showed extensively with Claire Mollick. She is an independent curator. And I was really, I felt really embraced and felt um, loved and respected by the Chicago community. In 2016, I finally moved to Brooklyn, New York, which was always kind of an end goal for me. I loved New York and fell in love with New York from a very young age. And um, being in New York was amazing. I ended up showing in a few galleries there and then I decided in 2020 to move to Cambodia and long story short, I'm back here on US soil for various reasons, we all know. So with that being said, I also have a website, juliaha.com, if you ever wanted to take a peek at my extensive work, some exciting things coming up, so just stay tuned. Have a beautiful day.